Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Wheeljack, and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. Also, hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video, and come back and check out the channel often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed the donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. So here we have Wheeljack. He is brand new, released in February of 2020. He's starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. He is a deluxe class figure, so he is retailing for approximately $20. And you can see here he is packaged in the brand new Earthrise packaging. It's a window box, so he is displayed in his robot mode. Over on the side, we've got that Earthrise artwork, and then on the other side, we got really cool artwork of Wheeljack himself. Then around the back, we've got some product shots of Wheeljack showing him both in his vehicle and in his robot mode, along with one of the action features where he can uh, kind of interact with some of the other features, or some of the other figures, rather. So, enough about the package. Let's get Wheeljack out of the box and check him out. And here we have Wheeljack out of the package and in his vehicle mode. And he comes packaged with everything you see here. He's got his weapon, the figure, the instructions, and his decoder. So we can take the insert and look for his planet. And this, yeah, he got a planet, and it's a planet called Anpilla. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe one of you guys that are more versed in the uh, comic book stuff, maybe know. I don't know. A-N-P-I-L-L-A. -L -L Anpilla. I don't know what that is. He gets the planet Endor. That's what he gets. Oh, I can I can hear the comments already. Plano, pl Endor is not a planet. It's a sun. And the Ewoks lived on the, end, the forest moon of Endor. There's no planet Endor. Do you hear yourself right now? Do you hear yourself? Stop it. Stop. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I need coffee. It's very early in the morning. I need coffee. Okay, instructions. Very good instructions. Uh, you know, I haven't been showing off these instructions. I've just been showing the sheet themselves, but let's take a look at one of these real quick so you can see what these guys look like. Uh, very clear, very concise, very colorful um, in all their three colors, but uh, they do the job. They do the job well. And uh, again, these figures, the, the beauty of these figures is, uh, the beauty and the genius of these figures is in their simplicity. They ha They have a very simple and easy transformation um, that gives us a very uh, believable uh, and a very good G1 car and a very good G1 robot. Very effective in its simplicity. So Wheeljack comes with his little weapon here and you can just kind of take a look at that one. It's kind of small, but there we go. Uh, I'm not a fan of the little peg here. I know why the peg is there, but it's it's a side peg, and I don't care for it. Uh, but we'll look at that more in, uh, in a little bit. We'll set it off to the side. And here we have Wheeljack in his vehicle mode, and he's got his little race car mode, and he looks fantastic. Wheeljack in vehicle mode is approximately five inches long, about one and a half inches tall. He is a race car, so he's supposed to be low. It's a good size deluxe figure. He rolls just fine all the way around. He does uh, sit low. But he does have enough clearance to roll. Now, on my copy, the front wheels are... are you can see how these roll a little freer. My front wheels, on, on both of my front wheels, are very, very tight. So, usually, when I'm doing th something like this, you can kind of catch those front wheels just kind of sliding and not rotating as much. Uh, they are loosening up a bit. Uh, so, you can see them rotating a little bit right now. But, at first, they would just kind of sit there. And I was... I kept looking around and see if maybe it was riding up on, on, on one of these things. That maybe the wheels weren't touching the surface. No, they are. Uh, they're just... Uh, very tight so they weren't rolling around they're getting better with time so as i keep playing with it they'll get a little looser and it'll roll a little better every time so just kind of going all the way around he is detailed in that white with those green and red paint stripes and all your uh, racing accoutrement with the ra <laughs> with the racing number and some uh, uh sponsors there uh made up sponsors so we got like a praxis and we got a uh invenzone I think is what that says. And Venzone Modulator. Uh, we got some, uh, I, I think that's Japanese writing. I hope, it, you know, I don't want to be offensive to anybody, but I think that's some Japanese writing there. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Might be Chinese. Maybe something else. I don't know. But there it is. Uh, Cybertron.com looks like. Little Autobot symbol up here at the top. Uh, that one's a little small for me to read. 
arrow bolt on the spoiler there, Autobot logo on the top, and uh, some more of the same on the sides here, on the other side there. We've got an arrow bolt on the back uh, rear quarter panel there as well. So very cool, looks very convincing little race car. I love this a lot. So you got the little weapon here. You can take the weapon and put it there. I don't care for that. Again, I just keep it in Prime's trailer. If he's in vehicle mode, the weapon's gonna go in Prime's trailer. That's what Prime's trailer uh, is, is a weapons platform. So why not just put the weapons in the weapons platform? So there's that. I'd just rather not do this at all. Uh, just going all the way around so you can see the back of the vehicle, very nicely detailed, um, you know, uh, we got a, you know, on the side of the vehicle, we got the back of the head there. But other than that, not a whole lot of robot showing. So again, very effective vehicle, not showing us a lot of robot there. And for comparison, here he is with G1 wheel jack. So you can see what these guys look like together and the evolution. And again, very effective update to the classic figure. Looks fantastic. I really wish that we could have had all of the original sponsor labels on there i'm sure toy hacks is going to take care of that for us and when they do i will definitely get a set of those to make this guy look more you know with the actual names and numbers and all that so there you go very very cool so let's get this guy out of the way and let's get him ready for transformation so we're going to start right back here at the back quarter panels of the car we're going to take these and pop them off to the side just like that there and there and then we're going to take this whole um, back side of the vehicle here. We're going to unclip that and bring it off to the sides, just like this. Take the uh, wheel, rotate it so it's facing away from you. Take the fist, rotate it so that the fist hole is facing you. Let's move this camera up again. Same thing on this side. Take the wheel, face it away from you. Take the fist, face it towards you, just like that. Uh, come around here, take the little wings of the car and rotate these. They, there are, let's see, it's going to be hard to show, but there are little tabs right there that's going to make the wheels or the wings stop when they get to the right place. So that's going to go there and there. And then we're going to come here and rotate the head out until it clips into place. Take the entire car and twist it in half, just like so. Windshield. Pop this open and it's going to hinge up and over and then it's going to tab in. You got tabs and tabs that are going to go in here and here. So this whole thing is going to tab into place right there and I've got the head misaligned. There we go. So that looks better. Now we're going to take the front of the car, split it in half carefully. The entire front uh, side of the car here, this is going to rotate out and over. And when you get about halfway, you're going to take the remainder of the windshield, rotate it down, and then bring the leg the rest of the way down until it clips into place. It's a soft click. Do that on this side. Stop there. Bring the window down. Bring that the rest of the way down. And then we're going to take his feet and straighten them out. And there is Wheeljack in robot mode. And he looks fantastic again. Beautiful, beautiful update to the G1 Classic. He looks amazing. So we got his little weapon right here. We'll do this one first. Because again, he's got that peg right there. So you can hold it as a gun. Uh, but that's not really the point of that. This is just meant to be a shoulder cannon. So you've got the little tab right there. You got slots on either side of the head right there. You can go ahead and just peg that in right there. And there you have Wheeljack complete in his robot mode. He looks fantastic. Here in robot mode, Wheeljack is approximately five inches tall. So again, he is a very good deluxe sized figure. Coming in close so we can see the details on the head. Looks really, really good. My lighting is terrible, but there are eyes in there. Uh, there really is. I wish there was. Is there a better way to? There we go. There you go. So you can see the eyes right in there. You can see a little bit of the head detail. Looks really, really good. Yeah. There you go. That's better. Uh, and again, just going all the way around to see all the details on him. Very nicely proportionate, which is kind of a problem with the original G1 figure. He kind of looked like he had gorilla arms. We'll see that in just a moment. Going all the way around on the figure. He looks amazing. Very, very uh, nice looking figure. Minor, minor gripe. I think the wings should have been a little longer. I wish there was a way that they could have found a way to maybe fold these out or extend them or do something with them where the wings were a little longer. And I don't like that peg sticking out of the side of the weapon. Other than that, no gripes. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Head on a bone joint. can look up and down, side to side. Arms can go all the way around. They can also rotate on the transformation hinge and they can rotate on their own shoulder hinge. So very nice there. You got a rotation at the bicep. You got a bend at the elbow and you got a rotation at the wrist. Rotation at the waist. Legs can go forward, backward, in and out. 
rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee, tilt at the uh, toes, and ankle tilt as well for those wide stances. So again, beautiful, beautiful figure. I, I just cannot praise the Autobot figures on the Earthrise line so far. I have really just loved every single one of this these figures so far. Again, for comparison, here he is next to we, uh, G1 Wheeljack, so you can see what these guys look like together, so you can see the modern update on the classic. Um, and again, one of the figures that I've always wanted the most was Wheeljack. This was kind of one of my unicorns or my white whales that I chased after for a very long time. Very, very happy to have this figure, uh, but that is, you know, still not going to take away from the fact that this is a very fiddly figure with a lot of little pieces that like to fall off and very misproportionate figure. Uh, <laughs> as much as I love this figure, one of my favorite Autobots ever, love this guy to pieces, uh, it's kind of a terrible figure. <laughs> it really kind of is, to be honest. Uh, this is a really, really good update. I'm really looking forward to seeing this with a full G1 deco like this. Can't wait to see that. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, G1 Wheeljack. You're, I still love you. And then I get one more comparison. Here he is with Earthrise Prime, so you can see what a Voyager and the looks look like uh, together. And again, very nice size difference there for the two of those characters. That looks really, really right on. Fantastic figure. Again, I am just loving the Earthrise Wave 1. All the Autobots so far have been fantastic. I'm really, really loving these figures. They're so fun and easy to fit with. They're, again, they're simple transformations. So, you know, you can just grab these and I just sit on the couch and I just fiddle with them and I'm just having a lot of fun with them. And they look amazing, beautiful figures. So I think that about covers the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Wheeljack. What did you think of this figure? Let me know. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.